Welcome back to my Trailblazer League series. We currently have 50,480 points and we ended off last video at rank 40. Now it's just going to be focusing on climbing even more points and securing a top page position and climbing those ranks even more. And here we are, we're banking 25 mil runecrafting right now and we have just hit 25 mil mining, which is another 250 points, putting me up to 50,730. We're going to be climbing up even more today, so let's get into it. Okay, something I forgot to do after getting my 100 mole kills was to exchange these thingamajiggies to get, uh, I, don't, I don't know, it just gives me 100 points. I don't even exactly know what I'm doing, but yeah, there I go. 100 points earned just for turning in 100 mole claws to Weissen the Gardener, putting me to 50,830. Okay, and here's another 100 point task I unlocked after doing the Karandra Diary. Haven't done it yet, but there we go. Quick and easy, 50,930. Oh shit, I just got 50 points for completing the Volcanic Mine game. Okay, and that is the Runite Ore Fragment Mine. That's the only reason I'm here. Fuck the Volcanic Mine, bro. I don't know shit about this. It took me 10 minutes to figure out how to use the water to come down here, and now it's disappearing. But that is another... Oh my god, I'm at 51,230 points. I literally woke up like an hour ago, and I just got all this shit done. That's what we like to see. I just got another pet. My fourth pet, I think. That's my fourth pet. I just got the baby bull on 482 KC, dude. I've got the Kraken, the Bandos. What's the other one I've got? The Heron, bro. Look at me go. Look at me go. Okay, and that is 500 mole kills, which is another 250 points. 250 more kills, and that's another 250. We are now at 51,480 points. And that is 750 mole completed. The final mole task I'm going to do is such easy points. We're now at 51,730 points. That's 25 million hunter XP gained, which is another 250 points, putting us up to 51,980. Three more herbivores, and we get another 250 points. So let's go finish it up. Okay, and this is my 500th Herbie KC. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I got the pet. I'm so stupid, bro. I, I forgot I had to actually click it to harvest it. Okay, but that is 500 Herbert KC, putting me up to 52,230 points. Very, very nice. We made loads of progress already in a very short amount of time. Okay, I've been doing some more agility as well, and I've hit 500 laps, which means I can make this into a maniacal monkey or whatever. And that's another 100 points, putting me at 52,330. And that is 750 Kraken done for another 250 points. We are now at 52,580 points. We do need to come back to Kraken eventually because we need more tentacles for the master task, but that is nice points right there. Okay guys, the moment I have been dreading. Our gear is looking a little bit better than last time, but today we go back to the bird. It is time to go back to Armadale and look for this Armadale chest plate. If you guys have been watching my videos from the start, you guys know I have 500 kill count there with three hilts, three helms, and nine skirts. It is a 1 in 35 drop rate for any of the armor pieces. So, to say we're dry is, you know, an understatement, but we need the Armadale chest plate to finish the armor set. It is 500 points, and it's just such a big boost. We need to go do it. It's also very good for the Inferno toss we need to do. So, I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take. I honestly don't have my hopes up, but we got to do it. Let's go see how it goes. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. 10th Armadale chain skirt. 516 Casey. Honestly, I'm not pissed. I've, I've been, you know, I haven't been here for a couple weeks now. It's not that deep, but 10 armor chain skirts, man. I'm eating crackers right now, dude. Fourth hilt. Fourth hilt. 537 Casey. Still no chest plate. Uh, I'm, I'm still not really that angry, to be honest. I'm not that pissed off right now. I'm, I think I'm hallucinating. I might be a little bit delusional. I don't know. I'm gonna just shoot this bird until I get the chest plate. It's whatever. Oh my god, I got it! I got it! I got the chest plate, dude. I got the fucking chest plate. I got the fucking chest plate. Pick it up and get the fuck out of here, dude. We're good. We never have to come back to this place. 565 KC. We never have to come back. Am I recording? I really hope I'm recording. Okay, I am. Thank god, bro. Thank god. 500 points for equipping a full Armadale armor set. 53,000 points. I never have to go back to that stupid bird. Okay, and this is 33 sire kill counts. I'm hoping it'll give us an unsired. Nope. Okay, so the drop rate for an unsired is 1 in 33. I know it's not exact and that's not how it works. But yeah, I'm now officially dry after the next kill for an unsired. Let's go. 41 KC first unsired. Dagger, bludgeon piece, even a jar, bro, I'll be happy with. Bludgeon claw, let's go. 250 points for that shit as well. 53,330. Alright, oh my god, oh! 
Okay, well that's 67 kill count at um at a sire. I kind of forgot that happened. But we are now over drop rate again for the second unsired. All right, and this is going to be my 100th kill count at Sire, which is 250 points in itself. Now, as I said before, the drop rate of an unsired is 1 in 33. And since that unsired we got on 41 KC, haven't got another one since. Um, we do need to do 500 sires eventually, so it's not that deep. Are we going to get one here? No, we're getting 100. We're getting some diamonds. 250 points right there. But yeah, that puts us up to 53,580. It's nice. It's nice points, but by now, we should have gotten two more unsires, which means we could have gotten an Abbey Dagger which is 250 points. We could have got a jar, which is 250 points, or we could have finished our bludgeon, which is also 250 points, obviously. Now, not the worst thing to go dry here because there's a task for 250 sires and 500 sires, but I'm trying to fly up in points right now. So I'm hoping I can get lucky and actually hit the drop rate for once because one in 33, I was hoping to have two more on sires by now. One for one KC, I got my second on sired times for the drop rate, but we take those. Anything that's not a whip, bro, just don't give me a whip. I got a bludgeon spine. Okay, that's my second piece. Second piece of the bludgeon. Nice. Okay, another unsired. Let's go. 160 kill count. At 165 kill count, we should have had five unsired as per the drop rate. This is our third one right now. But if we get a dagger or complete our bludgeon, I'll be happy. Or a jar even. I just want points, bro. Let's go see what happens. Okay, so bludgeon pieces are actually extremely common. So I guess I would prefer a dagger or a jar because I'm going to be here anyway. And I'm going to get that bludgeon piece like fairly quickly, I assume, for the unsireds. So a jar or dagger I'll be happy with, but obviously if I complete the bludgeon, I'll be happy. If I get a whip, I'm mad. Bludgeon accent. Okay, that is my bludgeon completed as far as I'm aware, because I have three bludgeon pieces. I don't even know how you make it, so let's figure that out. Okay, wow, dude, there's this big little snail. I don't know what this is, but I have now got myself a bludgeon. I don't know what this dialogue is about. I don't even know what's going on here. I just want to wear my bludgeon. There we go, an elite task done. We're now on 53,830 points. Equip an Abyssal Bludgeon. I don't know what this book is for, but I guess I'll take it. Now, the problem is I think I can just keep getting more Bludgeon pieces when I get more on Sirens because I still want a Dagger and I still want the Jar, so I don't know how this is going to go. I am going to finish the task, however, and get to 250 kills at least. Oh my god, bro. I think the Ballista might be best here. Not going to lie. I think I've just wasted so much time, 160 kills. I just wanted to test out the Ballista real quick to see how it do, and it is disgusting. I really messed up, I think, not gonna lie. Okay, the Ballista is definitely better. That's a one hit. I've just one hit it, bro. The Ballista is so good for this, and I haven't been using it for 160 kills. I've only just randomly thought about it because of my spec relic. Bro, I've just done it in one go. What? I've just done it all down in one go. Nah, bro, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. So for my first 160 kill count at Sire, I didn't really know what to do because you can't use shadow spells on this because, well, I don't have the desert. So to get it down, I was using a trident, and then to get the little respiratory systems down, I was using a trident too. And never would I get it down in one go. I'd always have to do two, and sometimes maybe even three if my RNG was bad. Now, I randomly decided to bring out the ballista because I was like, hey, I have the spec relic. A ballista spec's only 20%. And even without the spec relic, honestly, the ballista is really strong here. You can see I managed to get a one down on all the respiratory systems using the ballista and the dragon javelins. And honestly, if I had done this for my first 160 kill count, probably would have found it a lot more enjoyable. But regardless, I still have to do loads more kills. So this is a very, very nice setup to find. And if you guys are doing something similar and you guys haven't been doing this, feel free to try it out. Another unsired 178 KC. Could this be the dagger or the jar? I'm thinking this is another bludgeon piece, not gonna lie. We've discovered this new method, which has been amazing. We've got these kills so much quicker. But the bludgeon pieces are like like 50%, I'm pretty sure, like, is it is the 50% chance that you get a bludgeon piece. Come on, come on, give me a dagger. Give me a dagger. Please just give me a dagger. Abyssal Orphan! I have just got a fifth pet. I have just got a fifth pet on the league. Oh my god, dude. I have five pets on a temporary Iron Man private server. What's up, little guy? Okay, and that is 231 kill count, which is the drop rate for 7 unsired because they're 1 in 33 on here. And I have only seen 4. I haven't seen one in a bunch of kills now. Um, we got to carry on. We got maybe, I don't know, 30 more kills on our task. When we hit 250 kills, we get 250 more points. I was hoping to honestly get a dagger at least before with 250 points because the next task is at 500. And that is a little bit more grinding to do. Don't know whether I'll do it, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Okay, 239, I just got an unsired, bro. I was just complaining about it, and I got an unsired. Come on, bro, just give me a dagger or a jar, please. 
Yes, let's go! A dagger, let's go! 250 points, let's go! 54,000. Okay, and this is 250 kill count at the Sire, which is another 250 points, putting me up to 54,330. We are flying. I think the only uh, Sire toss left is probably 500. I also do need to get a jar, but I can get a jar from pretty much anywhere. Like, I can get it from Kraken and Grotesque. There's a bunch of other stuff I need to do. I will come back here for 500 Sire kills. I'm just running low on Javelins. I do so ran out of Dragon Javelins. I think I'm going to go finish up my Jad Toss because I only need two more for another 250 points. So I might as well just go get that now. So another 250 point toss that a lot of the competition has on me is the sub 3 minute Nightmare kill. Now the only reason I haven't got this yet is because I'm bad at PVM and I don't know how to do the Nightmare. Luckily Sea Engineer, Only Trails, Hootie, and Callum managed to come in for the carry for me to get these 250 points. Eventually I still have to learn how to do the Nightmare because there is lots of points locked behind it. For example, equipping a Nightmare Staff with any orb on it is 500 points. Equipping the full Inquisitor's armor set is 500 points, and I think just getting any drop in general is like 250 points as well. So there's a couple thousand points locked behind the Nightmare, so I will need to learn it eventually, but for now we managed to get a 2 minute 42 Nightmare kill, and I'm very happy with that. Alright, and that is 30 Fight Caves done for 250 points. We are now at 54,830 if I'm not mistaken. Very nice, we're going to try and push for this 55k just now. I think this might be my first hard reward casket from clues because I haven't really done clues until this update. Yup. Oh my god. And that is 150 points right there. Oh no. It's, dude, I got hyped over nothing. That's 250 point toss right there. That's two medium toss. I got the unholy blessing at, which is a unique item and I've completed a hard clue scroll. Very nice. I got an MSB from that too. Cool. And now we are at 54,930 points. Nice. Okay. Another hard casket. Ooh, a Dark Cavalier, some little Fashion Escape, and the Magic Shortbow and the Longbow Combo, cool. Oh my god, what did I do? I got 200, dude, I got 200 points from that, bro. I got, I don't even know what I got, but I got 200 points. Bro, I'm at 55,130, what's good? Okay, another hard casket, what are we saying? Oh, we got a Pirate's Hat and some Muscle Harm Teleports, and an Unholy Blessing, nice. And that is a medium toss done for filling three hard clue collection slots. I didn't even know that was a thing. That is 50 points now, putting me up to 55,230 points. And with that final clue toss completed, it put us at 52,230 points and put us right under the top page at rank 26 on the league points leaderboards. We haven't been near the top page since our armadillo grind over two weeks ago now. At this point since then, we've managed to max, complete the armadillo set, climb up thousands of points and hundreds of ranks, and now the top page is right within our grasp again. We end today's video at rank 26 with over 55,000 points, and I can't see us not reaching the top page in the next video. These videos do take tens of hours of progress to make, and I'm pretty much non-stop grinding away to get them out as quickly as possible, while also not missing out on any of my personal progress within the game. As you guys can see, I'm literally at Kraken right now trying to get those 10 Kraken tents. So if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like and subscribing to the channel, it does wonders to support it and I would appreciate it loads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.